everyone, today I'm going to be trying 10 Christmas foods. Now, it was 10, but it's now gone to 9. Um, in one of the more well known recipes I can't have today, but I am going to be trying it in my Vlogmas now. That item was a Christmas pudding. Look at this cute mini pudding. By the way, all the stuff I bought from Tesco's. Cute Christmas pudding. Um, and this is why I shouldn't leave videos. No, filming videos to the last minute because our microwave broke this morning and it's the best way to microwave it. Um, steaming it takes about half an hour. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try it in my vlog another day. So, that will be my weekly vlog for, hopefully because we'll have a new microwave by tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, so now it's turned into nine. Um, so, it's a mixture of traditional, we've got British, I think we've got one Italian and one German in there. Um, and there's also kind of like more like novelty style chocolate Christmas gifts. So I don't have a clue what order to go in. And by the way, these are 10 foods that I've never tried. And some of these are pretty common for Christmas time. Um, in no fact, I've never tried eggnog either. I wanted to try it, but I haven't got any for this video. But hopefully I'll be trying some over Christmas. I think we're gonna start with something I know I'm gonna like. But number one, it's some Cadbury's Snowy Fingers. So the reason why I wanted to try these is because I've tried chocolate fingers, I've tried white chocolate fingers, but I ain't tried them together, so I just thought, why not? I mean, I know what they're going to taste like, but I'm kind of going to see, can I taste both the flavours? Oh my god, you get, I get two boxes for one pound fifty. That is a bargain. Go get yourself to Tesco now. Goes up so nice. Probably going to be one of the only things I do like on here. Not going to lie. Okay, I have a feeling that I'm only really going to be able to taste the milk chocolate, but let's see. Oh no. I can actually only taste the white chocolate. A bit of both. The white chocolate is a lot more overpowering, but you can't see that, I don't think, but it is predominantly white chocolate. It's like three quarters white, one quarter milk. And these are melting. Of course they're nice, but um, yeah, they pretty much taste like the white chocolate ones do, but you know what? Two flavours for the price of one, I suppose, at the end of the day. I'm now going to go with a product that I've already eaten. And I've got to tell you this because basically I bought these items of food. What day are we on now? Wait. Friday? Five days ago. And I had to give in and eat one of them. And I ate the whole bag uh, with help from my sister though. And it was these. Pigs in blanket flavoured crisps. Oh my god, they literally smell like pigs in blanket, like spot on. The taste, they don't really taste like pigs in blankets. I don't know, they kind of do, but then they kind of quite taste like quite barbecue like. Um, you know what, they were so addictive and they were very nice. And um, they actually, online, I saw they had like flavoured um, these bit in like peanuts, and I really wanted to buy them, but didn't have them, so I got the crisps. But you know what, I'll definitely be buying them again. Pigs in blanket crisps go get them. The third item I'm going to go in with something that I don't think I'm going to like but it's very traditional. I've got my plate and I've got my mince pies. Um, so I thought they had meat in them. My mum then told me you know the, the fruit or it says fruity mince meat. Now I'm going to do a bit of googling because I always thought mince pies had meat in them considering it says mince. Actually, let's look at the ingredients first. There is mince meat. There is mince meat. Oh, the mint. Ah, no, the mince meat does not contain meat. The mince meat contains apples, sultanas, raisins, blah 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 blah. Yeah, no meat in it. But I want to know if traditionally there was meat in it. Meat in mince pies. Yes, traditionally it had meat in, but. Uh, Looks like it's changed into fruit now, but we're gonna try one. So I get the, the, the gist that mince pies, like Christmas cake, which I've also got to show you, and Christmas pudding are literally the same thing. Just with different ways to cook them, if that makes sense. Mm. See, if there was actual meat in them, I would have actually liked them. Here it is, let's try it. I'm not a big fan of dried fruit, so uh, let's see, but I like pastry. Oh. 
No. The pastry is nice, but an initial bite, I actually quite like the spices. But after finishing that, I don't think I'll be eating that again. I'll eat the pastry around it later. <laughs> it's just, yeah, very strong with sultanas and raisins. I'll try again. Not for me, so someone else can eat the rest of their mince pies. The first two things that I tried were modern and I liked, and the first traditional thing I tried I didn't like. So we're gonna go back to something that I think I'm gonna like. And this is actually the Italian Italian -y, Italian one, and it's called panettone. But I got the chocolate panettone because this classic one has sultanas in, which we all know I now don't like. So yeah, it looks like this. It's in a very pretty box. I think I'm gonna need a plate for this. So let's take my mince point off that plate. Um, it's just very cute. It's like, it's like something you'd put on your tree, like a little bauble. Um, I'm not being funny. Um, a very deceiving box. You're actually having a laugh. Look how small that is compared to the box. Not on whatever brand you are, Arden MSC. I paid £1.50 for you. Not worth it. If I like it. I think it's literally just bread with chocolate and chips in which sounds like a brioche to me which I like um how do I do this do I oh wait is that a case oh there's wrapping around it cool I was about to eat that we're gonna it smells very nice but just like brioche I'm gonna get if I can reach I'm gonna get a knife and I think I'm gonna cut a bit off I don't really know how to cut it that's a bad decision um, I don't think this can be cut. I think it can be ripped because it looks very like it's very stretchy texture. That's what it looks like inside, filled with chocolate chips. I'm quite far away actually, so I don't think you can really see it. But it just looks very um stretchy is what I'm gonna say. Now let's I'll just do it with my hand. Mm. Yeah, just this like brioche. Pretty much. The bread just tastes a bit different. I can't think what. I don't love it loads. But yeah, it uh, it kind of tastes like something that would be quite addictive. Now, I don't know why, but I feel like it's got a hint of alcohol in it. And I don't know where I'm getting that from. Because by the looks of it, I don't actually... F Wait, where are the ingredients? So they are. No, don't think there's any in it. It just kind of tastes like that. I don't really know what I feel like this. I don't think I'm going to go buy out and wish to the shops. But... It's alright. I should be rating these out of 10, shouldn't I? Tell you what, as the slides have gone on, i put a little rating up there. Not as bad as the mince pies, but I prefer a brioche over that. Sorry, Italy. I put up number 5, and I'm going to go in with something that I don't think I'm going to like, just so I can get it out of the way. And that is a very cute looking mini top ice Christmas cake. Rich fruit cake with glacé cherries topped with marzipan and decoration. Oh my god, I actually like cherries. I thought this was going to have sultanas in, like the mince pies and like the Christmas pudding. Do you know what? I think it's going to actually taste alright. Okay, it's got raisins in and it has got sultanas in. But it's also got marzipan and cherry in, which I love. And it's got icing on. And it's got a little um, wreath on the front. I'll open this. Got it on my plate. It looks very dense and moist by the looks of it. Um, Let's... I don't know, do I, I'm not really big enough to cut a slice out of it, is it? But we'll attempt one. And it's got a card. So I've got my mini slice and looking in it, oh god, just drop some. Um, I'm going to come close. Mm, doesn't look too inviting to me. We're going to eat the icing first because I think, I hope I'm going to like that. Mm -mm. Love the icing because it's marzipan. I love marzipan. And now here, <coughs> oh, and now here for the um, cake, which I'm not gonna lie, it looks even worse than the mince meat does. It does not look appetising at all. Do you guys who like this? Well, good on you for being traditional Christmas, but I don't like it. No, I'm not gonna lie. 
I don't know which I hate more, the mince pies or this. Do you know what, I think I'm going to say I like the mince pies more just because the texture was alright, but this texture is just vile. It's too stiff and moist with the cake and ugh. I'll be eating the icing, but I won't be lying on the cake. So yeah, I don't really like the traditional Christmas stuff by the seams of it. Can I just say, that Christmas cake is sticking all over my hands. That is absolutely vile. And I'm going to go in the six pudding. Now this is actually something that you're meant to put with Christmas pudding. But as we ain't got it, I'm still going to try in this video. Now, it is brandy butter. Um, never tried that and it has got alcohol in, but it's alright. It's only 6% and yeah. Cool. I don't think it's probably advisable to eat the whole tub. So I'm only going to try a little bit. But um, I've actually never tried brandy, but because I'm a fake. But um, I don't know, it just seems like it's something that I like the sound of. So let's open it. Let's see if it's got a smell. It smells so alcoholic, but do you know what? I quite like the smell, and I like butter, so we've got a little mini spoon. And I'm just going to take a little bit because it, I imagine it's going to be quite strong. I'm going to just say that it's quite strong and it's uh, nearly late at night, so I ain't going to have a lot. I mean, I doubt you can get drunk off this, but you never know. That's strong. Do you know what? It just, it literally tastes like brandy flavoured. Well, I'm guessing this is what it is. Alcohol flavoured buttercream. Do you know what? I think I quite like it. Um, I'm not going to see it here in the top. I'll just have a very last. See guys, look. That's all about. That's all about that little bit out of the whole top. Okay. Yeah, at first it tastes a little bit like nail polish remover. Like, do you know the strong smell? But once you've had the aftertaste, it actually just tastes like buttercream. Um, yeah, that one's not too bad. Now I'm going to go with the seventh product, and I'm pretty sure the three products left I'm going to like. When I, so, we're going to go with the coconut flavoured Toblerone. Now, I love coconut, and as soon as I saw this, I thought, I ain't seen this before. You're not going to have it. Apparently, ages ago, there was something about the Toblerone triangles have changed, so. Um... Let's see if I notice them because to be fair, I don't really have to put in that much. I don't know, have they? I don't know, they look pretty normal to me. It's gonna break, oh, it broke so easily because it's melting. Um, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of coconut, but I love it, so I think I'm gonna like this. This tastes good. It's not that heavenly coconut to be fair. Definitely got coconut bits in because I can see it, but I mean I wouldn't say no to it, but it just doesn't really taste like coconut. And the chocolate is such a strong, overwhelming scent that you can't actually taste the coconut well. Really. So it's nice, but I've got to be fair, it's branding itself with coconut, and to me it don't taste like coconut. Um but it still tastes nice. The eighth product, we're gonna go in with the German product that I have. And it's Leb Lebkuchen. Um, it's a traditional German biscuit, and I can't pronounce it. But I'm sure if any of you are German and you're watching, um, go ahead and tell me I'm wrong because I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, this is an assortment. You've got loads of different types of biscuits. Um, pretty much like you would get in the usual like a British box. Um, you've got a chocolate pretzel Lebkuchen. I'd say it. A cinnamon one, a mini macaroon, a traditional one which I think I'm going to try, and a perfectness. Literally, that is how it's spelled. Is it going to focus? No. Yeah. Oh, it's just focused. It's just focused. Um, that word. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? I don't have a clue. I'm, I think I'm going to try the traditional one, and it says it's a seasonal spice lebiction. Okay, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. I thought it was a biscuit. No, it just says spiced cake. Well, I was... Do you know what I feel like? I think there's biscuits and cakes version because I really wanted the biscuit, but they had none left. So, oh, they didn't sell them. Oh, it smells very cinnamony, and I'm not a massive fan of that. Okay. 
tastes like it's got a bit more to pan it. That's weird. It's kind of got the same flavouring that um, the Christmas cake did. It, this tastes like a mix with ginger and spices and cinnamon. To be fair, it ain't that nice. I don't the best. I mean, it's nicer than the other fruit filled stuff. I'm going to try another one actually. I'm going to try the chocolate pretzel one. Um, yeah. Nah, that kind of tastes worse to be fair. I'm not a massive fan of that German shishini, but sorry Germany. But to end this, we're going to go back with seeming all the modern novelty, different flavourings that I seem to like in this video. It is now, not the bacon crisp, it is creamy brie and cranberry. Sounds weird, so I thought I'm going to try it. Now, I like cheese flavoured crisp, but I don't like cheese. Um, and I like cranberries, but I've never tried cranberry crisp. So, I thought, I'll see what they both taste like. Okay. To me, it just smells like a normal bag already salted. Doesn't really have an overwhelming scent. Let's hope I like them. Uh. Too strong. Do you know what? I'm going to brave it. I'm going to try a really small one. I can't taste the cranberry at all. I really can't. And that is why I don't like strong cheese. Do you know what? The scent doesn't last for long with cheese, but it's too strong for me. That is way too strong. Not like, traditional cheese and onion are like. Cannot taste the cranberry whatsoever. That just tastes like a strong cheese to me. Um, but you know what? It doesn't leave an aftertaste. It leaves an aftertaste to ready start with. So that's the bonus. So in the whole video, I confidently liked the chocolate fingers, which I knew I was going to like. Um, the tovalone and the bacon flavoured crisp, really. I kind of like the brandy butter and I kind of like the panettone. Um, but apart from that, I didn't really like the rest. Well, that was a waste of money, wasn't it? I think this video was quite long. I hope you enjoyed watching me not like half of this stuff. Um, maybe you had some enjoyment watching that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know below, actually, if you like any of these traditional stuff um, or if you agree with me and you don't like the traditional stuff. And to be fair, I sure won't like the Christmas pudding, but you can always go ahead and check my vlog out anyway, and you'll see that filtered in it sometime, which should be uploaded on Christmas Eve. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and yeah, just comment below what you like, what you don't like to do with Christmas food. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, which is tomorrow, because I'm uploading every single day at 7pm this week. See you then!